What is going on, everybody? Hey. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome. And welcome. <laughs> welcome back to Phoenix Wright. When we left off, we got some we got some secret shit going on. DL6 stuff. Uh-huh. That old man knows something. Or at least that bird knows something somehow, which the, means the old man yeah. must know something. No, and we're going to find know out. Know something or used to know something. Yeah. I mean, there's a chance that maybe the bird somehow learned it from somewhere else. I don't know if there was the a previous The bird owner. was the murderer. <laughs> The bird killed everyone. Oh my God. Anyways, uh, before I really go anything crazy, I'll see if I can look around. I mean, you saying the bird killed everyone is all is already crazy, but you know. yeah, it looks like there are files inside that that, that glass case. And that's that case. <laughs> the case is so dusty, I can't see what's inside. Nick, it's locked. It must keep important case files in there. Which makes sense. Not gonna leave this? it unlocked. Yeah, this cabinet is where they keep evidence for current cases. Some of the things are obviously murder weapons. Oh. Others are who knows what. Most of it just looks like random junk. Nick, what do you think this clothespin is for? Don't touch that. <laughs> it's evidence. Jesus. All right. Someone Lane murdered <laughs> someone with a clothespin. You can fucking do it. <laughs> John shit. Wick murdered someone with a pencil. <laughs> with their fucking pencil. <laughs> All right. There are shelves stuffed with case files in the back of the room, too. Jeez. Forgotten cases, rotting away for eternity. Nick, let's get what we need and get out of here. All this dust is getting to me. Well, I'm sorry I want to explore around a little bit. Sheesh, girl. Here are files of collecting I case hate reports. Dust. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's quite a large volume of reports here. Dust kills my ass. Yeah. Wow. These are all case reports? Yeah. It's like a graveyard of police cases. I guess my sister's case report is in here, too. Quietly gathering dust. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong it's at all. It's depressing as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So she was going to tell me what I need to know. Uh, the case summary. Yeah. Well, first I have to get a hand on the main facts. Like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Okay, sup. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. Oof. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. Well then. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Oh, well that's... That explains... That explains edgy. Yeah. Part of the court building collapsed, and all the lights went out. Damn. Wow. That was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. Jesus. Can you imagine being in an elevator for five... That would be scary like that in the dark... Ooh. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. And that was Mr. <sighs> Again, <laughs> Nick. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. So there was Edgeworth, his dad... And then person number three, whoever yeah. that person is. Victim data. Do you have data on the victim? Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Sweet. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. They have the same stern mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. Wow, he died. He young. had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles! Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. Yes, we've kind of gone over that <laughs> fact, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of slow, okay? <laughs> From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. There's S a The but same it, but murder the weapon as on the boat, right? 22 caliber pistol? I think so. I mean, they haven't said that it's the same weapon, I don't think. They just said the no, pistol I'm on the boat No, I'm just saying it's a, they're both pistols. Yeah. I'm wondering to see exactly what's going on because I noticed there's a bullet hole in the glass, yeah. which wouldn't make sense. No. 
So he might have been that shot be, from outside. Yeah. yeah. Graham never seen a uh, elevator with glass windows like that before. No. But anyways, the pistol has been fired two times. Well, okay, that kind of gets rid of anything. Where have I heard that before? Yeah. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Huh. Sounds like this current case. What's going on here? The suspect data. Deja vu. Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on. Uh, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was... Yanni <laughs> Yogi? <laughs> he was a clerk in the court, apparently. What the heck kind of name is that? I'm not sure. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent. Thanks to defense, law defense lawyer, defense Robert lawyer. Hammer. <laughs> Ham you're just, oh, fuck, I got Hammond, fucked up because I was just... The victim in our case. Right. <clears throat> the suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so he had brain damage. Oh, God. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. Coincidentally. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. I know someone else with brain damage. Yeah. An old man, maybe. I don't know if he's actually that dumb, though, because he did lock us out really quickly. Yeah. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer yeah, than Phoenix we think. Yeah, Phoenix thinking that, too. Yeah. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick. Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. It, you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Okay. Basic DL6 case cool. file. Cool. Awesome. That's very important. Yes. We have too many goddamn pieces of evidence. Yeah, now, we do. <laughs> right. Which is both good and bad. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad uh... will do testifying in court. Oh, yeah. Our dad. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's Time already to be continued. <laughs> we yeah, could have kept going. Well, I mean, that was seven and a half minutes right there almost. So oh, okay. That would have been a long yeah. bit. Never mind. Yes. All right. We save. And now we're on the day three trial. Technically the second day of the trial because mm -hmm. day one's always the investigation. So we've yes, got this yes. day and one more day in court. We got this asshole over here. Oh yeah, Satan! Here. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles mm. Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, mm. the, uh, very well. Apparently, the pro the prosecution, the prosecution <laughs> is also ready. God damn it! Who is the judge here anyway? <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Uh, mm. Uh, very well, no opening statements, so... Jeez. <laughs> Not so fast, Judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. R right of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Um... Uh... Okay. Yo, dog, what's up? What up, uh, what up? Uh? <laughs> um... Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Bah! Must you question everything? I'm a judge! It's my job! <laughs> it will be over in three minutes. Three we minutes! Have, <laughs> we have no time to waste. Markiplier! Hello, everybody! My name is Markiplier. Market Karma. My name, <laughs> my name is Von Karma, and welcome to your death. <laughs> I'll call my witness now. We have three minutes. <laughs> right, right! I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. Oh boy. Oh god. This fucking guy. <clears throat> Witness, state your profession. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <sighs> I uh, am the proprietor of the restaurant, the Wet Noodle, <laughs> at Gord Lake. Hmm. And I, uh, also ran boats. The night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, yep, yep, boss. <laughs> Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. 
I'm gonna raise an objection on that shit. Okay. We need a name. Objection. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Jesus. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah. I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. Now we know where fucking Edgeworth got that. Yeah. <laughs> Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. I'm sure there's a reason they don't want us knowing his name. Uh-huh. Granted, he might not remember his name if he's actually got Still. brain damage, but... Yeah, right. The witness will state his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... I'm not really sure. Yep. <laughs> what do you mean? My, uh, memory. Your honor. The witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. That's you. Oh. Hmm. He can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear this testimony then, shall we, witness? No, oh, he's so fucked. Yeah. We were on to him. Uh -huh. Unless it's a red herring. I don't... I don't know. I can't tell if this game... I mean, they might do in later games. It hasn't really gotten to that point in this game where no, they're really thrown it's that. it's not that tricky, I don't think. No. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. Yup. I was in the restaurant where I, uh, ran boats, as usual. Then I heard a bang. Yup. <laughs> I love that voice you do. <laughs> when I looked out the window, I saw a boat just uh, floating on the lake. <laughs> then I heard another bang. The second bang was the gun, I'm pretty sure. The first bang was the samurai. Well, no, the samurai happened way before, remember? Oh, yeah. So the samurai is not in there still. Then why is there two? Just about then, the boat comes back to shore, and a man walks by my window. He's falling asleep. Mm, okay. Very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. Is he objection? Yep. Fucking He's Satan. gonna be like, nope, that was perfect. Just call it. There's nothing to question in my witness's testimony. Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Besides, there's only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Judge your verdict what? now. Uh, yes? But, Mr. Wright? Uh, cross-examine? <laughs> I, I would think so. <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Mm, very well. You may begin. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> wow, he is Satan. Excuse me, Mr. Von Karma. Three minutes just passed. Oh, God. <laughs> I see. Well, then, let's just take our time. You may cross-examine the witness. <laughs> he, he's going to become Satan when we piss him off. Yeah. Three minutes has passed. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You die now, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, night of the 24th, uh, after midnight. It's fine. Let me press, see if it gives it me anything. Yeah. Just after midnight, you say? Yep, just around then. Great, he didn't remember yesterday what time it was, yeah. but are you sure? Pretty sure, yep. When I talked to you yesterday, yeah. you were rather vague about the time. You literally are, <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. I think <laughs> Von Karma <laughs> told him to say that. Probably. I asked him and he remembered. You mean, Isn't that right? Oh, yeah, see? He's totally holding his leash. <laughs> Don't glare at me like that, young whippersnapper. I, I remembered it clearly, I did. Yep. You see? <sighs> Continue. I don't really have anything He's to He's manipulating this poor old man. <laughs> right in the restaurant where I rent boats. Sure, go ahead and press that. Is there anyone who can verify that? <sighs> Well, I guess Polly could. <laughs> the goddamn bird. I that's not totally good enough for a court it for you. But <laughs> <laughs> this is you. Uh, Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? Uh, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. Excuse me, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> a parrot? It's pronounced <laughs> poultry, guys. <laughs> Don't be so hard on the girl, <laughs> Keithy boy. Keith. <laughs> The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. Heard a bang. Okay, I'll go and press mm -hmm. that. 
And where do the bangs seem to come from? <laughs> I hate this so much. Uh. From the lake, I figure. Are you certain? Uh, yep. Good. Continue. He's totally... Ugh, I hate right. that guy. Yeah, I saw a boat floating on the lake. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see clearly. I didn't figure there was two men out there. Yep. You figure? But you couldn't see them clearly. Yep. At the time, that is. At the time? At the, at the time? What does that mean? What does it mean at the time? I have no idea. You might want to pull up your damn walkthrough yeah, for me. Because like... I might get lost here soon. So you heard two gunshots total. Yep. Mm. That's what Lada said in her testimony yesterday. Yeah. So, so that adds up. Wait, didn't Lada say she heard three? No, two. I mean, it was two. Okay, I heard two gunshots just up. I told okay. you. But then the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. This is the last thing I really have. Yeah. By your window? Yep, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. And you could see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick. It was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. Okay, so we got another fact. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Oh boy, am I walking into a trap? <sighs> Oh, okay. That's a nice That's uh, addition. New. That man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. I'm going to have to press that one, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, are, are you sure? Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> <D> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Keith. <laughs> dead certain, Keith. He said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too. Uh-oh. <laughs> Witness, are you sure the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him! That Edgeworth po- Oh! Oh god, he died. I think the witness died. Um, This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. That's bad. Von Karma. He lured me into cross-examining so he could set me up for a fall. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. I'd better act quick or this trial is going to be over. Mm. Um. Let me check. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to go uh, ahead and it's save. Day three trial? Or? Yes, day three trial. Okay. Pretty early on, too. Uh. Uh. Larry's not there yet, no. so. Rest your taker on the man that defended him. I can't believe he's dead. Raise an objection twice. Twice. Okay, raise an objection. objection. I had a feeling you wouldn't want to wait to see what happens, but. No. Your Honor, we proved yesterday's trial that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Yeah, because the handprints, or fingerprints. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? Yes. And the photograph showing a man frying with his left hand? Yes. Exactly. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Mm. The judge is lost in thought. What should I do? Raise objection again! Yep. Your Honor, this witness claims that Edra said, I can't believe he's dead. But his word is all we have. If he were telling a lie... <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, I've yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Uh, uh, Nick, do we have evidence? Um, it's no good. There's nothing I can do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. Nick needs you. <laughs> Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. 
This must be a new record. Enough! The witness may leave the stand. He's just <laughs> always sleeping. He's out <laughs> cold. <laughs> this court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for mi misinterpretation of the facts. W what? No. Mm -hmm. This court finds the defendant. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> mm. Mr. Miles Edwards. Guilty. <laughs> Wait. Did I? <laughs> the accused will surrender to the court immediately. Did we? Did we fuck up? Did we fuck up? <laughs> To be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Um. Do we just lose? Um. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, Green, you can't really what? reverse that. Yeah, but, I know. But who said wait? Wh who, who was that just now? Uh. Me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Oh, Larry. You should a little late to the party, Larry. For real. L Larry. Well, well, what are you doing here? Listen. Y you got to listen to me. Oh, yeah, because he was Miles' childhood was, friend, too. Yeah. I was there in the park the night of the murder. He was. I I was a chair about it until yesterday, but he said he was gone at the, at the night of the murder. No, because he was on the boat. Remember, he was getting the samurai out of the water. Oh yeah, he was there yeah. in the murder. But he said he left early. Remember he but no, he's like, uh, I guess I forgot to tell you I was there on the night of the murder, sorry. Well he said that, but he said he left early before it happened. That that's why that's why we forgave him because he said that face, he left. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure about it until yesterday. But but today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot! I heard it too. Uh, order? What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, he did. A gunshot. That night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized something said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I just can't let us sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's, it's just not right. It's not. I testify. Let me testify. Okay. Order, order. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Objection. Call it off. <laughs> Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. <laughs> he can make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. Doesn't get any worse. You know what? You're right. You right. Okay. Your Honor, if there's another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. Yeah. A waste of time. You're a waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Mmm. 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 Retract your verdict, dog. Allow me to speak my opinion. Okay. In all court proceedings. It is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. Okay. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What, what is this? It's called rules, dumb shit. Mm. <laughs> I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Woo! Hooey. Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this new witness to testify. I just had a weird idea, real talk. They probably will never do it in these games. Well, I mean, there's been a lot of Phoenix Wright games. What? But I think it would be interesting to defend a client who was actually guilty of it, but we have no idea until it's done. Oh, man. I think that like would be interesting. Twist? Yeah, like we defend and we get them declared not guilty, but it turns out afterwards they were guilty of it. I think that would be an interesting take, which, I mean, they've had like 10 that's Phoenix Wright games, so it might have happened by now. you would write. <laughs> Absolutely. As a writer. All right, you, anyways. <laughs> you love plot twists and crime stuff. I do. All right. Now. What? Satan's coming. <laughs> the court will adjourn for a five-minute recess. 
After that, we will hear this new witness. Put what the your, fuck are you doing, put dog? Put your tongue away, you anime <laughs> freak. Court is adjourned. Oh, man. I finally grew balls. <laughs> well, we're all going to be smelling the butts. <laughs> What's going on, dog? Whew. <sighs> that was too close. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to keep you on the edge of the seat like that, Edgeworth. Mm. I've seen worse. <laughs> yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I would be too. God. I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that night? Yeah. Yes, he, he said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Oh, right. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Edgeworth. Yeah. Huh? You say something right? He's thinking about some. Yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> you seem out of it. What's wrong? It, it's nothing. Huh? Dude. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? How is your voice so sick? Why are uh, your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Because I'm goddamn high. I mean, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of the key. <laughs> when he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. Dude. I didn't have a reason, really. I see. Talk about a fuck up. <laughs> right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? Von Karma has only ever run perfect trials. Perfect trials? What is he, Snake? He's like repeating everything now. <laughs> Middle gear. <laughs> perfectly prepared witnesses. Perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. It is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. Oh. He has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. Oh. And that someone is Larry. Because he didn't get to manipulate <clears throat> him. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony was full of holes, right? That's right, Nick! No ten minute trial this time! We'll met this one for all it's worth! Hey, it was fifteen minutes! Fifteen! Everything's on Larry now. No pressure, God. No pressure at all, Mr. Butts. Ooh-wee! Alright, shut the fuck up, everyone! Court is now back in session! Witness! Please testify to the court about everything that you saw on night of December 24th. Right! You leave it to me. Did you see Santa? Yeah. <laughs> Please, Larry. God. Don't mess this one up. Our, our childhood friend's <laughs> life is only on the line. Yeah. I hate to admit it, but <laughs> you're our last chance. Never would have seen <laughs> this coming, honestly. No. <laughs> and neither did he. My comrade didn't even have time to prep his witness. No. Nope. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. Yeah. All right. Don't be fucking stupid, dog. Uh, Night of the murder. For once. Dan Naito was out in a boat on the lake. I was looking for something, I uh, and I found it. Yeah. So I quietly slipped the boat back at the rental dock shop dock. I quietly slipped the boat back at, in at the rental dock shop uh, dock. Are you dock. okay? Jesus. Dock <laughs> shop? <laughs> then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked over out over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. What? Mm. There was only. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. Yeah. In any case, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. You're right. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm. 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 I'm gonna save before I press anything. Good on idea. Dog. Just in case I press, and all of a sudden he blurts out something stupid and gets fucking edgy boy thrown in court or <sighs> thrown in jail and yeah. and death row. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna press him next time. <gasps> Cliffhanger! Yes! yes. yes.